so we're going to be looking at personal development and overview like trying to understand the concept of personal development okay so as i journey through discovering my peoples discovering myself understanding and mastering this process becoming all i ever wanted to become and trying to live a life of impact and influence i realized that all this can be classified under the word personal development now development is the process of improving your skills your knowledge your abilities your qualities that contribute to your personal or professional advancement so we can see that development can be personal or it can be professional development but for um today we are going to be meeting our topic to personal development so what then is personal development personal development is the process of improving yourself in various areas of your life this include your skills your knowledge your attitude your behavior your mindset your belief and even your overall well-being now personal development is actually a continuous process that requires intentional learning that that means intentional learning that leads to commitment self-improvement and personal growth personal development is actually a broad subject matters okay so it encompasses improving your communication relationships developing emotional intelligence managing time and stress cultivating healthy habits not showing um not showing negative mindset cultivating a positive mindset intentionally developing different areas that resonate more with your needs your goals and your aspiration so why is this topic very important why are we discussing personal development personal development is important for the following reasons the first i call is self-actualization trying to gain a sense of purpose and fulfillment yes it's it's important because it can help you find your peoples it can help you gain a sense of fulfillment in life it's important because it can help you gain self-awareness yes getting to know yourself so well awareness of yourself meaning your behaviors your strengths your weaknesses and all of the above it can also help you in self-knowledge you getting to understand and know yourself very well that other people's opinion will not we no longer decide who you are because you've gotten to know yourself personal development is important for goal achievement we all know that we are always working on something we are always setting goals personal development can help you to achieve your goals it can help you to improve your relationships when it comes to communication empathy emotional intelligence personal development can help your personal well-being both your physical your mental your emotional it can give you a balanced lifestyle in such a way that you have your self-care you'll be able to handle stress and lots more personal development can increase your self-confidence yes because when you get to know yourself okay it will eliminate self-doubt it will en- eliminate low self-esteem or stage fright giving you a positive image personal development is one primary key to self-improvement and personal growth and personal development is very important in living a meaningful and fulfilled life personal development also empowers you to take control of your life and reach that fullest potential okay and then lastly this is my favorite personal development <laughs> leads to personal growth which leads to success i wrote a book recently called from personal growth to success please if you've not downloaded that book it's free yes go and download it at the end of this class i will be sending you the link to go and download the book so the book was titled from personal growth to success 
is actually an introductory guide to personal development and then um, part of the content i shared my journey to self-discovery and finding papers and how i happen to gain clarity on my keywords on and on my paths so i'm not going to be sharing the story here again just go and read the book i talked about success because the the book was titled from personal growth to success okay now personal growth to success the aim of everything the aim of our pursuit the aim of the the reason why we're working so hard the reason why we're trying to do things find ourselves and all of that is to achieve success is to achieve success in life now what is success the truth is that many people have different definition of success how do we define success how do you define success for some persons success is actually a luxurious lifestyle for some persons uh, success is actually money having lot of money for some persons success is actually success means different things to different people so it all depends on how you define your um, define success i remember our parents of old our um, um parent of old many of them we are not that wealthy many of them we are not like they were not really financially or they were not but they achieved success so what do we what do we what is like uh this landmark in which you can define success is in that book okay and then i talked about um personal growth and development yes sometimes we use this word simultaneously but they have different meaning they vary we can use them together but they have different meaning you can see that in the book also and then i talked about um okay you going from personal growth to success personal growth is like is a result of an action okay personal growth like growing personal growth leads to success personal growth is a result of an action what is the action you have to do something that will make you to grow that will lead to success and that is called personal development so very important i'm going to be talking about phases of personal development this is quite important because this platform is dedicated to developing ourselves as an individual and um yesterday's we've actually be talking about different concepts okay we have been talking we've actually been developing ourselves but the truth is that the message we've received is was not sequentially arranged in such a way that i remember when i was teaching bible school students i i explained to you that when you receive the word sometimes it's good to get it sequentially okay you g- give your life to jesus you go into the next phase you go into the next phase yes truth should be received sequentially because sometimes when you receive them um and um, partly you tend to like you may not get the full information okay i remember when i was talking um, talking to by the school student i was explaining to them that for instance you just give your life to jesus and then they're teaching you about prosperity you've not learned about character you've not learned about the basic things and then you're going to handle deeper things before you know you will just like everything will just become so confusing i also gave this instance that for instance you are um, um you 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 are supposed to be in primary one or primary two imagine you taking a a primary five or primary primary let's just say primary three student to a just three class everything they're saying will just be like they are not getting it you understand because they have not followed the um, sequential parts so to personal development there's actually a sequential part that we're going to be taking this period okay we're going to be going one after the other this is a coaching section at the end of this coaching sections i'm going to be giving assessment i'm going to be working with very serious people and by the grace of god this coaching is coming to you guys free because i want you all to grow i want you all to rise after this section my coaching my coaching classes and my they are not free i know i know how much i pay for coaching and all of that they are not free so i'm giving you this information please 
give yourself to it tell yourself what in fact tell yourself in your heart what you want to achieve from this section okay because this section i'm starting from the foundation even as i'm going to call the phases of personal development you will see the stage you are in life okay you see the stage you are currently you can pick from it and you can apply it to your life and you produce results phases of personal development the first i call is self-discovery okay now personal development remember i told you is a continuous process so it's like a circle okay it takes you from the foundation to becoming what you want to become and even more yes that is how how broad this topic is so assuming today today i want to become what do i want to become assuming today i want to become a makeup artist okay i will just follow the simple step of personal development and it will take me to become like before at the end of this um the personal development for being a makeup artist i should be called a professional makeup artist and then even more because it's one thing to become a professional makeup artist it's one thing to um to profit from it to inf- um, impact and profit like make profit from it okay then for instance tomorrow i want to become um let me say an artist following the steps if i follow the steps critically i should become that is how powerful p- personal development is see if i tell you what personal development i've done to my life like courtesy of personal development i have become anything i want to become i do tell people i can do all things to require that strengthen me and funny enough through personal development eh to date i can just decide that i want to become this i will just follow this step it's like it's like a habit to me you understand i've 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 mastered the art of personal development that's why i can teach it that's why i can proudly call myself a personal development coach do you know that even this coaching of something i i told myself okay precious i want to be a coach i follow the principle boom i became a coach i've told myself several um did, did some, some skills like this many skills that i have many when i mean i have so many skills even the ones i'm not even monetizing or utilizing i have so many oh many of in fact all of them courtesy of personal development through personal development that was how i can do all things through guys that strengthens me following this principle you will become anything you want to become and the beautiful part of it is that since i am starting from the scratch for some of you that don't even know what to become you'll be able to find yourself find your papers find your potentials and then you walk the paths and then you become and after becoming you manifest you you inflate you impart and you make profit Okay, so the first stage is called self-discovery. Now, self-discovery is the process of gaining deeper understanding of yourself, okay, of who you are, including your identity, your source, your purpose, your potential, your interests, your value, your life missions, and more. It is the foundation of achieving self-improvement and personal growth so self-discovery is the first stage i want to um develop myself i want to go through personal development the first thing i need to do is self-discovery and self-discovery will happen to be you understanding okay so now the process of self-discovery involves deep reflection at this point you need to sit back or or retreat or withdraw okay and think deep reflect on your life reflect on your goals reflect on who you want to become reflect on what you want to achieve in life you see it entails gaining a deeper understanding of yourself including your values your belief your strengths weaknesses passions and motivations this exploration help you develop a clearer sense of yourself it is a journey of self-reflection self-awareness and self knowledge undergoing this stage ah it was it was tiring i personally i went through the stages as i told you these phases 
when i was undergoing self-discovery at some point okay growing up at some point i learned that okay you need to get certificate and all of that so i was pursuing certificates i had so many certificates certifications i was pursuing okay they say you need to get skills i was pursuing skills i learned hair making i learned this one i learned that one i learned oh god what did they say you need again they were like and eh, tech is the way forward i started i put my head in programming i was trying to learn programming trying to learn tech and all of that trying to learn car design Something. <laughs> see at some point i was like i am tired <laughs> i am tired what is this so at that point that was the beginning of self-discovery for me that was the beginning of self-discovery this phase began for me i was like what is all this i started asking questions and these are questions you ask in self-discovery one of them is who am i who am i why am i sent on earth what is my peoples what are my pot potentials what am i meant to do what where is my destination where am i going to i asked these questions i questioned life i was tired like i was really really tired and that 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 was my my starting point to self-discovery because please this story i don't want to share too much too much of stories because mo many of them are in my book already okay i will just say this then i met a man of god um he's into the prophetic he was just praying for people then in the course of praying for people he'll be like ah god has called you into so so thing ordinarily i'm not even interested in all these too much touchy many many of you that know me i'm not i'm not interested in too much all this prophetic i'm not this extremist and all of that so when the man of god was saying all these things in my mind i was like i beg i beg all these things are not even my problem but at the same time something just don't know me precious she you are tired of all these things what if this man of god just tell you that precious god this is this is god's part for you the way you are tired me i know myself i will leave everything because i will, I've, I've i've touched virtually everything i i am interested or i want to touch so if i see somebody that will just tell me oh more see god's purpose for your life oh I've, that at, at that point i've gotten to understand that if god called you to fire kara leave him if you fire kara you, you go succeed like you will be a global akara seller or whatever do you understand i've gotten to know how powerful god's purpose and god's way and god's plan is and at that point i was willing that god let me just know what you, you called me if i just tell me let me just know this thing i'm tired let me just know this thing and start pursuing it i'm tired i was tired i was tired so when that thing dawned on me i was like wow this is a nice one so at that point i just stood up i went to the man of god i was smiling i was like good day sir he was like good day how are you i was like fine sir i was like sir please and uh, i heard what you are telling the other people well done sir please sir can you help me can you tell me what is god's plan for my life and guess what well i say quite unfortunately the man of god told me auntie or sister you need to go and pray to discover god's will god's papers for your life i'm like sir please don't do this sir please don't do this just tell me i want to know this thing just tell me he was like don't worry get back to me when you're done <laughs> hey god so it was as though my case was different and i then started my journey my journey to self-discovery my journey to finding myself my journey to finding my peoples on earth i went through this journey journey of self-discovery so the next phase is called self-development in your journey to personal development the next phase is called self-development now self-development is the process of enhancing specific areas of your mind and body okay it's aimed at personal growth by improving your physical and mental skills your competence your talent your knowledge your um 
leading to self-fulfillment and reaching your fullest potential so when you finish discovering yourself the next stage is developing the path that you've discovered because in self-discovery you will see your peoples you see all these things you see your strengths you see your weaknesses what you have to do is that you build your strengths you build your strength you work on it okay now self um, development this process involves taking actionable steps listen this place this one is the is where the work is okay it's um starting with self-assessment followed by action planning and goal settings okay now this action taking action leads to the change that you desire self-development very important and very powerful so there are areas in which you um, would develop yourself in your journey critical areas we we usually talk about these areas in here we talk about very important areas your spiritual side social side emotional side educational side health and finance okay so as you develop the side you grow into these areas remember i told you that um personal growth let's say growth leads to success right we are all aiming for success success is a goal so growth leads to success but growth and um, there is an action that leads to growth which is called personal development leads to growth which leads to success so these sites that i mentioned you can actually grow into them you can actually say spiritual growth so uh, social growth and all of the above okay so our anchor scripture for tonight is luke chapter 2 from verse 40 and 52 okay so um for to say and the child grew and waxed strong in spirit filled with wisdom and the grace of god was upon him wow and 52 say and jesus increased in wisdom and stature and in favor with god and man okay so yes jesus was growing here but what he did to grow was he developed himself that's personal development brought to his growth which brought to his success announcement fame which brought him out okay so you see how powerful personal development is yes now when jesus was undergoing personal development okay which led to this growth that scripture is telling us that jesus grew in these areas okay um jesus grew and the scripture made us understand that he kept on gr- growing okay now see four areas that jesus did not joke with like he was critical about it they say uh, scripture said jesus increased in wisdom that means mentally jesus jesus developed himself can't you see how i see when he came out after after how many years after 18 years we heard about him when he was 12 um, um t when he was 30 those 18 years what was he doing personal development he was building like especially in these critical areas of his life that means to tell you that personal development eh varies the 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 the, 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 the part in which my needs and my goals and my aspiration will click to most that's the area i will develop more do you understand many people are health uh, coaches many people are into fitness their health the, 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 uh, amongst many other things that area will be high do you understand they will they will spend time developing that area but me i'm not into fitness and all of that Th- that does not mean that i will not neglect that area but i may not spend that kind of time do you understand it varies but there are critical areas of your life which everybody need to work on okay like jesus they say in wisdom those 18 years he was he was building (laughs) he was building he was developing himself he increased in wisdom mentally mental development and then in stature physically physically he, he increased in his physical areas he increased physical areas when it comes to his health his look and all of that he increased he walked on those areas and then spiritually because scripture say and in favor with god that means jesus walked on his spiritual uh-uh. 
she she i should not be telling you this now you saw jesus when he came came out sorry we've not we've seen him like we're witnesses and all of that but you you you, you i should not be telling you the story of jesus now see how wise this this man like no no he's he's busting somebody's brain he, 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 this guy is just so wise just so everything see his spiritual co- connectivity with uh, uh, abba he'll be like i am a father one of course he's god and all of that but he walked his way out though if god has deposited many things in you and you do not work your work out your salvation or work out yourself my dear <laughs> you will not rise to anywhere success will not even come near so you need to be intentional yes there are shortcuts yes many people are going the simple way um do which everything short shortcuts to their supposed um um success but i tell you the real success is beyond money the real success is 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 more of living a meaningful and impactful life double success lies in finding fulfillment i know many people there is one tedx talk um i was listening to the girl was talking how she was very good very brilliant so uh, much demand were on her she became this she became that and all of that but she lacked real satisfaction in life and at some point what was her what what, what was the thing that she loved um she, she went she had to reflect she had to undergo personal development reflect on her life and all of that this is what she loved whether she loved craft or she loved um sewing she was if you see her position i think she was one of uh, a pilot or what i've forgotten but she was she was on the high in 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 the world standard she was she was successful but in her own standard no she was she was dying she wanted to be herself okay that is real success i tell you (laughs) i tell you that is true success so um at some point when she saw that if she continued like this this life she would never find joy in it she had to withdraw she withdrew um um despite the opposition the mockery uh, her parents they were against every everybody seemed to be against her but yes yeah, she told herself no i will i have to choose for myself i had to make make this decision and then she started following her path and then she started walking through her path and then through personal development she became she became she became and she became happy and started becoming a person of impact and influence to her world and society at large so the third phase of personal development is called self-mastery oh self-mastery is very beautiful it's the process of understanding the path you just went through okay it's the process of understanding sometimes it feels as though you you were starting from the beginning okay but then you see that you've already walked through it okay i'm talking from experience i've i've been through many of the, i've been through those things like and and funny enough i i i i became like i was becoming anything i want to become through personal development so today i want to become this i go through personal development tomorrow i want to become this i go through personal development next tomorrow i i repeat the phases like like the circle i'm always on it so this alone and reflecting on all this it has, has i i personally have gained self-mastery in this process okay so um part of the personal experience most times i feel as though i want to start from the beginning and all of that but just for me to understand and gain control okay and optimize um my physical mental emotional and and spiritual self so there's still more to self mastery but because of time i'll be moving to the last phase which is called self-actualization self-actualization is the process when you become ah it's sweet finally i am now a <laughs> it was anything <laughs> that's the stage you know you be like oh finally sometimes it comes with all these certificates oh finally i'm now a doctor i'm, I'm now a nurse i'm now a mechanical engineer i'm now a that is the point where you become what you want to become or what god wants you to become okay ah it's sweet though you just like you just breathe in breathe out <laughs> it's the realization of all your full potential reaching a point of self 
fulfillment so so having known these phases um i developed a personal development framework now this framework will take you through a step-by-step -step process for finding yourself building first of all find yourself remember i told you are starting from the scratch so many of you that discovered your people thank god for you will get there now i'll i'll show you the next phase okay but those who have not discovered their people thank god for you thank god for this um topic okay so you find yourself you build you work there's work to do the assignments <laughs> then you will become okay and then you become impactful to your world in areas you, which you be called into so this by framework in, involve you having clarity now clarity of your clarity which involve um um self-awareness self-knowledge self-reflection just getting to understand yourself having clearer concept of yourself and then you begin to create <laughs> you know god say we are creators so we begin to create and then you master the process and then you become and the last phase is called manifesting <laughs> becoming and manifesting so after going through the topic tonight we've come to understand that personal development is very 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 important ah and we have seen um why is important i'm going to just list out some other benefits of personal development personal development gives you clarity of peoples okay it makes you to when you have clarity of peoples you're not confused seriously since i discovered my peoples i know i know what i'm doing i know despite the fact that many of you see me you, you know i'm into in fact everything i'm doing is still boils down to ministry and business you understand and all of that it just it just channeled if you look at my life it just ministry and business that that's what i've been called that's what i've been called into many of you have been called into education many of you have been called into media many of you have been called into government we have politicians we have generals we have lot of lot of potentials in this house oh please get started we'll get started okay so it gives you clarity of peoples now if you know that okay god has called me here and here what's next is it not for you to put your energy is it not for you to um undergo personal development and become and manifest as simple as that so personal development help you to create a positive mindset it helps in continuous learning and adaptability it also helps to increase your resilience remember we talked about bouncing back from setbacks and failure yes personal development can help you in this area personal de development can also help you to boost your confidence and self effic efficacy it can also improve your skills your personal skills such as communication empathy emotional intelligence it can help in productivity and time management yes and it can also help you to embrace change and innovation so having discussed the overview of personal development we've seen how important it is and why we should undergo personal development uh, i'll be stopping here for tonight so from next week tuesday we'll start the first phase of personal development we'll go through the framework my framework that i have designed for us we are going to be walking through this phase develop, um, discovering ourselves finding papers down to developing ourselves and all of the above and i pray that as we journey god will help us we'll find ourselves we'll discover ourselves and we'll become everything that god wants us to become in jesus name amen <laughs>